Well, <clears throat> um, we're going to use this for cooking. Shannon's here. We're, we're here. We're making man's food. It's man food week. We're going to do beef and beer both days. All right. So today we're going to do slow cooker French dip sandwiches. French dip sandwiches. Mm -hmm. All right. What do we need? Not a lot. Not a lot. You need one three to four pound roast, one can of beef consomme, one can of French onion soup, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic salt, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, 12 ounces of dark beer, six French rolls, two tablespoons of margarine, and one cup shredded mozzarella. And a partridge in a pear tree. I know, it sounds like a lot. It's no. not really. No? No, not okay. too much at all. It's all very right. easy. We'll take a break, come back, and throw all this together and try it a little later on. Break. Welcome back, everyone. We are cooking with Shannon, and we're and cooking man food. Man food this week, oh, yes. Oh. What are ready? we? Yeah. Ready, ready? Yeah. Okay. How can I help? Just stand out of your just, way? No, just, <laughs> just stay there. Okay. <laughs> just behave. Okay. Okay, this Got a is. a straw? A... No, sorry. Stop. Okay. Behave. Okay. okay. Yes, dear. Roast. Roast. Top roast round good. Roast. Mm. You can use any roast you want to. You can use a chuck roast, a rump roast, sirloin, whatever you want to do. And this is my pretend crock pot. Uh -huh. Okay, we're pretending again. The real again. one's back over the here. The real one's back here with the cooked food. So put your roast in your crock pot. That's always a good start. Yeah, it's super easy. And then this is a can. Is this my French onion? Yes. A French onion soup. And we're going to pour this over the top. Mm hmm. I'll hand you the trash. Oh, thank you. And then this is one can of beef consomme. Pour that over for you. Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. And then this is my dark beer. I'm using one bottle of Guinness Extra Stout. You can use any dark beer you want to. You can use Newcastle, Dead Guy Ale, <laughs> which I almost brought. But Guinness was cheaper. So. Almost seems like a waste of good beer. It's, it's worth it. Is it? Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. And then this is my Worcestershire <laughs> sauce, and we're going to do about a tablespoon. I didn't measure all this out. So. Just kind of eyeball it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you can tell me what a tablespoon I can, is, and yeah. you don't cook at I'll, all. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when you've had enough of that. And this is my garlic salt, and we're going to do about a teaspoon. If you're doing fresh uh, garlic, do about that's a tablespoon. That's a little light. There you go. That's a teaspoon. That's, that's good? good. Yeah. Okay. You're just a regular Chef Boyardee. <laughs> and this is onion Chef powder. Board. Chef board. And you want to do about a teaspoon of this too. Now, if you want to slice up a reg uh, just a regular raw onion and mm -hmm. throw in this, you can. And then we're going to put in our black pepper. How much of that? About a teaspoon. How many? I like my roast more pepper. So yeah. This one's mine. I'll <laughs> take it home uh -huh. and cook it. So now we're going to put our crock pot on low for seven hours. Wow. So throw it in in the morning, go to work. You come home, and when you get home, I want you to pull it out after the seven hours. If you have a seven hour work day. You can cook it for eight hours, or eight hours and 15 minutes, or however long. It's not gonna be overcooked. Oh. Okay. So this is what's, I split mine in half. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do is when you get home, seven, eight, whatever, you work. If what you do is work, you bring it home and you want to pull out and you want to just slice it. Okay, and you want to do thin slices or you can shred it, whichever one. Okay, and it's going to go back in your crock pot. Is there a secret to shredding it? Not really. I mean, just kind of push your knife down, kind of turn it to the side, and you can do it like this too. Oh. Uh, do you okay. like slices or shreds? Shreds. Shreds? Yeah. Okay. So once you slice and shred, and all this will go back into the crock pot for one more hour. Ah, okay, okay, so we're going to slice it up, put it back in. And then we have one more step. While it's doing that, I hid the cheese from you today. Ah, I'm sorry, I didn't think did. about it. I'm sorry, but you need to get some rolls because this is a sandwich, mm -hmm. and we want it to be nice and delicious. So I hid them down here too. I don't know why. I wouldn't get the rolls. So, you wouldn't steal my rolls? No. Okay. All I'm using it. These are just the French rolls, mm -hmm. and they're not pre-cut. So all we're going to do is just slice it in half. And okay. I'm using a serrated knife. Anytime you're cutting bread, use a serrated knife. Because really? a sharp knife like this will just smush it. 
You know, ah. you want to cut down into the bread, and so this will make it a lot. Of, also, with tomatoes, rated knives work better. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. See, but I knew I could teach you could write a book something. about what I don't know about the kitchen. I know. So you're just going to do it like this, mm -hmm. and then we're going to put some butter on it. Now I'm using actually margarine, not butter, because it just spreads easier. Softened butter. Actually, to be honest, this is move over butter. Move over? Move over butter, which is actually, I think, whipped buttermilk, but uh, the same thing. Okay. I like it. I think it tastes delicious. So we're going to butter both of these and preheat your oven for uh, 350, and you're going to put these on a cookie sheet and toast them. And when they have a, just a few minutes left, sprinkle on some uh, mozzarella. You can Ooh, use yeah. provolone if you like. That would be good even Swiss. without the meat. I just bread and cheese. Yeah. You are a cheese freak. I am. I love you cheese. You love cheese. Yeah. So all you have to do is put that in and toast it. When we come back, we'll put it all together and have some yummy sandwiches. Yummy. Yummy. All right. Let's have some more cheese. Here. Here's your snack. We're going to take a break. Come back with more in just a moment. No, we're not. Just we're going to do weather. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them where we're going now. Weather. Okay. Oh, okay. She owes yours, kiddo. <laughs> we're done. I, I, I thought you were going to say something else. No, no. No, I'm good. I'm just All right. I'm going to dip up. Waiting for some your sweet au jus. sandwiches. Your au jus first. Will you stop? Mm. That's what the meat looks like. Can you imagine what he's she like at home? Huh? Like this? No. He's like this with you? I'm my wife's sous chef. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you are. Extra stout. Extra stout. Did you see this? Extra stout. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You want to light up on the bread? <laughs> Should I just split one sandwich between the two of you? Huh? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Come on now, Jackie's not here. some juice in there. It's time to eat. Hold on. Bill. Oh, yeah. Okay. Loaded Is up. this yours? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you substitute like a lower sodium for this, yes. Shannon? Or you is can this, use is garlic this kind powder. of just a sodium? Okay. And you can also buy a granulated garlic. Okay. That's dry. Okay. I'm going to cut Bill's sandwich in half. Now, the crusty bread is very important, right? Like the yeah, hard uh, sourdough bread's the because best? Because if not, it'll like get a, soft. No, let's okay. do Justin's. I'll tell you what, you eat and let Here me do go. it. Okay. Okay, that's good. Oh, you ain't right. <laughs> You're so <laughs> You ain't right, Gamel. <laughs> that's it. A thunderstorm on your house, sir. <laughs> oh, good. We need the rain. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I do, too. Now, what else could you put in there besides uh, mushrooms, if you wanted to put Mushrooms, in fresh onions. Okay. So just uh, right. you can Take add, pick, huh? if you have some herbs in your garden that you're looking to use up, maybe oh, some smart. rosemary okay. and thyme. Beer and herbs, man. Yeah, I know, right? Can't beat <laughs> <Wow>. that. Wow. <laughs> That's good stuff. Oh, he says hurry up and eat. Okay. He just okay. wants some. I know what he's doing. <laughs> Jam on this. Thank you, Shane. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then there's your dipping. Yeah, you got to have the dipping part. Mm -hmm. most, oh, yeah. Most important. That is like the we best part of the sandwich. We went to a restaurant in North Carolina. We lived there all the time. This was always what I loved to get. Yeah. Mm. But oh, always yeah. got mushrooms. Are Ooh, oh, these are my favorite. favorite. These yes, are but the crusty favorite. bread's important where it won't get too soggy and mm. so mm -hmm. a really soft roll. Mm. So oh, my gosh. If you want the recipe, email me at muwcooks at gmail.com. And if you buy a six-pack of beer, we're going to use the other Guinness on Thursday. Mm. Give or four just, away, keep one more. Or we'll just mm. drink it on the air. Mm. That's Either true. Way. Go to break. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. There you go. I won't. <laughs> <laughs>